All right, so this is property number two for the day. Uh, this is the Korea Way one. So I know this is one that you guys are very excited about, uh, one of your top choices today. Um, so standing outside in front of the house, uh, one of the things I liked is the houses are only on one side of the street. So across from you, it's just green and then there's quite a bit of a slope. So it's nice because you don't have anyone looking right across from you. Um, so extra privacy. Um, I already took a walk through and I, it does, I feel like have a lot of what you guys are looking for. It has a really nice footprint. Um, so we'll see what you guys think. So obviously we have the two car garage, this nice grand entry, really nice um, vegetation and landscaping and plants. Um, everything is really well maintained. Have a really nice uh, large double door into an entry. And I know we've looked at a few different floor plans and some have felt a little bit choppy this one actually feels a little bit more functional um so off of the entry we have this little uh seating area with the fireplace um kind of a i guess family room or maybe more formal living room i'm just gonna step over here first before i get too lost so half bathroom right off the entrance could be great for your guests little hall closet and then this is going to be the two-car garage so um, they have some ex extra storage up here um, a lot of built-in cabinets and then they have this extra bonus kind of like workout room which is kind of cool um, I'll loop back around but it does open to kind of this courtyard thing Okay, so this is that courtyard again that I was mentioning. Um, garage right here. Nice and private. Nobody can see you here. Um, and you do, you know, get a, you can look out into your pool area, that little covered pergola grilling area. This is really nice. You have huge, like two story windows up there. A lot of natural light, but still very private with the vegetation they have there. Go upstairs first. So this is gonna be the master. So this is towards the back of the house. Um, pretty large master suite. Got this whole room here. And then there is this extra bonus little sitting area tucked away. Um, you know, could be great for the baby if you guys wanted to use it for a bit, could be good as like a yoga, you know, area, a uh, office, just kind of a lounge. It, it overlooks that courtyard that you guys saw. And then we have a really spacious master bathroom. So uh, when you walk in, you basically have two different wings. Um, on the left here, I would say it's probably more the her, her wing. Has like the little vanity area sink. We've got a pretty good sized shower. Oh, I kind of like, I guess you can access it from both sides. The two nozzles there. We have the deep soaking tub with views. You can definitely get some pretty nice views and very private here. Nobody can really see you. Got a walk in closet. And then we have toilet nook. So then on the other side, we have another set, another sink, toilet nook, and walk-in closet. So definitely nice that there's kind of a his and hers. Let me step out here, you can see the view. So, I mean, you can see pretty good out there. Um, can see a little bit with the neighbor's house there, but honestly still feels pretty private. Um, I feel like the property is situated pretty well. So 
So then down at this end, we have, I believe, three bedrooms. So bedroom number one with an ensuite. This is towards the front of the house. So this window is uh, towards the front. Okay, and yeah, Jack and Jill style bathroom. So we have the sink and toilet, shower and tub in the middle, and then another sink and toilet. So I'll wrap around just so you guys don't get lost. And then I guess, yeah, so one, okay. Yeah, so another bedroom closet. This one does have a little balcony. So this is over the front door. And then the last bedroom here. So again, this is towards the front of the house. This little window overlooks the courtyard and you can see the pool and stuff. And then Another bathroom walk-in closet. Um, so yeah, let me head out to the backyard. But honestly, the footprint of this one is is good, better than I was expecting. Um, you got five, yeah, five bedrooms with an optional sixth, four full baths, two half baths. So it's got a lot in here. Okay, so really nice outdoor area. Um, this grilling, you know, covered patio area, the lights. Looks like we have side access. That's where all the pool equipment is, which is kind of nice. It's all tucked away. So you guys can see over there. Um, but yeah, it feels really private. You know, you could have guests here. Uh, you don't really have any windows overlooking you. Um, smaller hot tub, I mean, not, not super large. You could probably fit four or five people in there. And then, decent sized pool, you know, nothing huge, but it does work. And then it looks like the sprinklers are going off, so I can't go in there. Um, but you do get a little bit of the grass area. So this is a uh, lower level all the way towards the back of the house. We have another full bath. This one also has an exterior door, so this could be great if you didn't want, you know, people coming in and out as they're using the pool, drag less water through the house. Um, but yeah, honestly seems like a very solid option for you guys. Pantry. I got a little laundry room again with a lot of storage. Another side entrance. So yeah, curious to see what you guys think of this one. I do have a pre-sale inspection too for you. Perfect. 